Good morning YouTube. Just a little update on the terrarium. Can you see that little spike coming off? The original spike of the Phalaenopsis in the terrarium. So it's obviously happy if it's grown into the spike and there's also a little spike back there. Can you see it? I'll try and point it out with my finger. Just the end of my finger there. So everything looks happy. I was looking at one of the videos that I did when I first put this in there and it's grown considerably. That fern back there has grown quite a lot. Um, so is this one here. It's very happy and that's grown quite a bit. And so is this mother in, oh not mother in laws, uh, baby's tears in the front. So I'm not too worried if it gets all a bit out of hand. I shall just trim stuff back. But I think it's uh, quite a success that one and I'm very pleased with it. So pleased with it, we bought another fish tank. It's only a little one. Um, it's got it's a bit bashed up at the front there, but my husband will probably um, tidy that up for me. I've given it all a good clean out. Um, and I'm just thinking about the plants that I'm going to put in there. Um, I've got a couple of plants on order. One's a sort of rambling type one. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but I'm thinking about doing a video. When I actually make this tank up, I'm going to do a video um, while I'm doing it. It might be in stages because it might take me a little time to uh, decide what I'm going to do. But anyway, I thought I'd film that so you can see how I make it up. And this is the update Phalaenopsis that I put in um, water culture when I first got it. All the blooms are still there, all looking lovely. And all I've ever done, I've never changed the water in this one. I hope you can see it, got a bit of backlight there. I've never changed the water in this one. I've only ever topped it up. Um, and that has been 10 weeks and two days in water culture. And as you can see, a bit of algae growing on the bottom of the vase. But apart from that, it's pretty clear and pretty happy. So I probably will change that now and uh, give it some clean water. But other than that, I'm extremely happy with that one. Something a little bit upsetting, when I took this mini fowl out to clean up the, um, to clean the vase up and that, both leaves dropped off. So all I have now is just the root system and the plant and the, um, the flowers, the buds or the spike. So I know I should cut the spike off and try and give this one a chance to regenerate. But I'm thinking I might just leave it. That might be just another experiment to see how it copes with keeping its flower spikes. Um, and will it regenerate any leaves? So I was a little bit upset because I do particularly like that one. But still, you live and learn. I must have got water in there at some point and it just rotted the leaves off. Because the leaves were perfectly okay. They, you know, they didn't show any signs of um, deterioration or anything. I just took it out of the vase and, um, you know, I always run them under the tap when I clean them out. And it, <laughs> they just fell off. So I was a little bit upset, but never mind. You live and learn. Also, I wanted to show you this lovely um, Oncidium my son bought me for my birthday. Um... He bought it quite a while ago and I keep forgetting to feature it in one of my videos. He bought a really nice specimen. Look at all those lovely aerial roots. Um, he said he took him ages to pick it out because he wanted to get the best one there. And he thinks that I might be able to split this one. But I won't. I shall probably keep it in... Keep it together. Um, but I will put it in a um, clay pot as soon as it's finished flowering. So it's a beautiful one, that one. Gorgeous, gorgeous yellow. And that's the one I've got a spike coming that I grew myself outside in the orchid house. So I'm pleased about that. These are a couple of the house plants that I'm thinking of putting in um, 
the terrarium over there. Um, they're just one of them's. Look at them. They're just baby ones. White butterfly. So I thought that was quite attractive with the tinges of pink. And um, this one is a fictus, I think it's called, climbing fig. Um, and I thought that would look nice rambling along the bottom, maybe in the front of the terrarium. Um, so that's a couple of the house plants that I'm going to put in there. And I'm, like I said, I'm still thinking about what orchids to put in there. So here we are in the orchid house. Um, got the sun coming right in up there, which is great. I don't know if you're able to see, but I've got a few more nice plants. They're just, um, I have got the names of them actually, which I probably can't play, pronounce. That's that one. They are garden plants, but they're not frost tolerant, so they're actually going to stay in here. Um, and I've got a nice, nice fern there. Really like that fern. And that is a. That's the fern. So these are just um, some anemones that I've dug up from the garden um, because we want to put the mini greenhouse. Um, the mini. I've got a mini greenhouse outside. I'll show it to you. So here's the greenhouse, it's just like a little, it's actually like a telephone box sort of shape, um, the old fashioned telephone boxes and my husband wants to put it here, over here, move it and in this bed there was um, other plants along with the anemones so I've dug them up as they've came come up um, so I don't lose them and he's going to put that, uh, that telephone box greenhouse here. And those cymbidiums are going to go in it for the winter. So, got a new orchid. It's a Collogeny fimbriata. Um, I think from watching one of Roger's uh, videos that this is quite a rambling orchid. I thought about putting this one in the terrarium, but I think it's going to get too big. What I'm thinking of putting this on, um, I'll show you. I'll just go and get it. Here it is. I've had this collar. I want to call it a collar because it's the wood's gone from the centre. I've had this collar for quite a while. Um, my husband gave it to me quite a while ago. And I've been uh, trying to think of what I'm going to do with it. Um, some sort of ideas coming to me um, of putting that collogeny fimbriata on there along with another rambling orchid. So they ramble in together, but obviously I've got to get one that's two orchids at like the same conditions and having them rambling around the outside and then I'd like to put something on the inside um, maybe just a fern or you know something something that will look good and um, fill the gap inside so it'll look nice but I'm still thinking about that one um, because it's whatever it is because it's quite a big collar I mean, it probably stands, you can see how big it is, you know, from my hand. It's uh, probably 18 inches tall, 40, 40, 45 centimetres tall. So, um, yeah, I've got to find something suitable. And it's got to be able to fit down here on the bottom shelf, whatever it is. So, still thinking about that one. But I'm willing to, you know, listen to any ideas if anybody's got some. So anyway, that's all the updates at the moment. Still no evident, no um, sign of the spikes opening or doing anything. This one is developing though. Um, you see, he's starting to get the shape more on the on the tip. Um, that one's just static, along with that one. Um, so yeah, and along with that one back there. So the four that I'm expecting to flower are all in a group down here now. So. You know, I can instantly see when I come in if anything's happened. So, anyway, that's all for now. Um, I'll catch you later. Bye.